All right, this is my newest build or car or whatever you want to call it. It's not really a build, I just put it all together. This is a, a Res Concepts, RES Concepts, Pork Belly Extreme Sporky model. So like the regular Pork Belly Extreme has spot for uh, bumpers and stuff like that. This is just the like sporty edition, I guess. I like it a lot. It was uh, my friend Luke from Cove City Boys. I think that's his YouTube channel. He bought it while he was here uh, for work. And uh, he's waiting forever for those links. So he had some different links on it. And then he sold it right before he left. So I bought it. And then put the rest together. It's got a uh, Deluxe Portal Trans, Ultralight Portal Trans in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Home Tobby 2040 KV snub nose, a dinky RC, I think it's the 45 amp ESC, deluxe uh, draft hex, 80 millimeter or 85, one of those super short ones. Uh, I printed these wheels, I'm a cheapskate and I couldn't find a purple B lock wheels in 22 that were not $100. Turned out all right. I like them. Uh, the uh, servo is NSDRC RS800 V2. It's got a 4S850 battery in it right now. I can run it on 3S though. I already got one of those 4S. And these are uh, those Chinese Capra axles. I figured I would not be out here beating on this one as much just because it's white. Uh, so I think these would be all right. Everything from a Capra axle will fit in there and vice versa. Except for like the ring and pinion are matched together so you can't mix a Capra ring and one of these pinions or vice versa. They have match set. Other than that though, all the weights fit. Uh, I think that one has a pinion on it, a Capra pinion on it. I printed out a 3D link riser. This is, I'm a polymer chassis so it like is pretty flexy like the whole thing flexes pretty crazy this is TPU which I would not have picked white if uh, I were buying this brand new but that's cool it looks awesome I love it and I just got it on my radio link RC 6GS now yeah, let's see what it does I haven't gotten used to the uh, ESC. I don't know. This is my first Outrunner in the ESC setup. And I don't know if it's my radio or the ESC or the motor. It might be a little too high motor for it. But uh, the settings, I can't, I can't ease into it. It's either real slow or fast. I kind of mess with the... Uh, throttle curve a little bit but I don't know I think I got to mess with it just a little bit longer or more I mean these tires and wheels the are tires anyways and inserts are off my camera two two rovers and I think and it's super soft insert up front and soft insert in back or soft up front, medium in back, something like that. But I think I could use soft all the way around because this thing is light. This is uh, according to my fish scales, under four pounds or under five pounds, I mean. Come on. Yeah, see the, the rear tires aren't wanting to compress that much.
Dang it. Look, that's what happened that first fall. God dang. So I guess that's out. I've tried like twice now to test this thing and every time something happens. All right, another day. Cocksuck. All right, hopefully third time's a charm. This is the third time I've been out here with this. And every time something happens, I reprinted that wheel a little bit thicker. So hopefully it holds up. I'll just reprint as I need to. Gotta figure out my trigger a little bit. I think it's hard to gauge how much throttle. I don't know if it's not quite as smooth as I would like it to be between going fast and super slow. Pretty good though. Like this looks like a really mundane line. But if you fall, it's like straight down. And that is 100% way steeper than it looks on video. This is where I broke my wheel yesterday, so if I don't make this right away, I'm not going to mess around with it too much.
Tractor to drive is totally different than my Campra. <laughs> got my wife out here picking up trash. Well, I don't got her, but she wanted to come and pick up trash. Because it's everywhere. This thing seems so delicate. It really isn't. So used to driving my camper and my hunky wagon that I can just way along. Supposedly this breaks in after time and becomes even more flexible. No, I think I'm losing it. This thing just drives totally different. Thing's pretty exotic. They're gonna call it the French tickler. A different driving experience altogether. Pretty weird, but I like it. Definitely gonna have to get a purple roof today.
I'm gonna mess the settings on the CC. You don't have much of a drag break. I do like this thing, but so far it hasn't done anything that my camper hockey wagon hasn't done. But I don't know if that's because those are really capable uh, rigs or, or what, or I don't know. Maybe there's way harder lines out here that I haven't found yet. This thing looks awesome, though. And I think the more I drive it, the more capable it'll get. Need to pick up another 4S battery. And maybe look into some waterproofing because this thing ain't waterproof. Climb. I think once I figure this thing out and how to drive it, it's going to be pretty badass. Get it tuned up, I think I need softer uh, foams or anti-foams in the back. But I like this thing. It's pretty rad. Alright, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, definitely think once, once I figure it out and get all the tuning right, this is like freshly built. Alright, let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.